Today we'll be talking about the Tamron 28-75mm f2.8 lens. We'll talk about the pros of this lens, the cons of this lens, the price of the lens, and if I recommend that you purchase this lens. And because you clicked on this video, I'm giving you a free copy of my book, Film to Freedom. If you want to turn your videography business into a six-figure income and full-time career, click the first link in the description below to get a free copy of my book, Film to Freedom, where I teach all the strategies and tactics to make it happen. Let's talk about the pros of the Tamron 28 to 75. The first pro is the wide focal range. 28 to 75 millimeters gives you a large focal range when shooting projects. 28 millimeters is great for capturing establishing shots and wide safety shots, while 75 millimeters is tight enough to give you the reach to shoot over top of a crowd in a room or just punch in for a tight shot in an interview. You then have the flexibility to shoot at any focal length between 28 millimeters and 75 millimeters as well. And pro tip, if you're in a large space and need even more reach with this lens, you can punch into super APS-C mode to extend the reach of this lens all the way up to 105 millimeters. When I started in wedding videography, this was my go-to lens when I was shooting a wedding day solo. I could capture just about everything I needed throughout a wedding day with this single lens. The next pro is the low aperture capabilities of the lens. Being able to shoot all the way down to f2.8 is gonna give you a nice depth of field at higher focal lengths while also providing you solid low light capabilities that'll come in handy when shooting in conditions where you don't have control over the lighting. In addition to the low aperture, this lens also has a fixed aperture, which means your aperture isn't going to change as you zoom in and zoom out with the lens. Next, we have the sharpness and colors from the lens. This lens provides really nice true to tone colors and I found this lens to be really sharp as well. Honestly, just as sharp as all my Sony lenses. The autofocus on this lens is also fantastic. It's quick to lock on the subject. It tracks focus really well, and there's very little focus breathing, and it's also silent when it pulls focus. This lens is nice and compact. It's five and a half inches in length, which for reference is almost the same exact size as an iPhone 13. It also weighs 569 grams, which is just under the weight of a 20 ounce bottle of water. This is gonna make it easy on your arms to shoot on and easy on your gimbal as well if you're shooting run and gun. I've flown this on my gimbal for a 10 hour wedding day and typically end the night around 40% battery left on my gimbal. With all these pros, there are a few cons with this lens. First, this lens does have an extending barrel, which means if you're flying this on a gimbal and the motors aren't very powerful, when you change the zoom, the gimbal might not be able to handle the difference in balance and you might have to rebalance it or keep the zoom within a limited focal length to keep it balanced. I found that if I balance the lens for 50 millimeters, my DJI RS3 Pro is able to handle a change in zoom all the way from 28 millimeters to 75 millimeters. But with that being said, before I upgraded to the RS3 Pro, I had the RS3 and it wasn't able to handle the change in balance. I would have to rebalance my gimbal if I wanted to zoom in or zoom out. Additionally, there is a little bit of vignetting with this lens. You notice that the image gets a little bit darker around the outsides. It's a small amount, but I have noticed it when shooting at times. Lastly, it would be amazing if the base focal length of 28 millimeters was just a little bit wider. Many other brands have a competing lens with a similar focal range, but they start at 24 millimeters instead of 28 millimeters. Those extra four millimeters helps a lot when trying to capture wide establishing shots. I assume a big reason Tamron built this lens to start at 28 millimeters is because it allowed them to make the lens more affordably. So let's talk price. The Tamron 28 to 70 millimeter F2.8 is currently listed at $799 on Amazon, which is three times less expensive than the Sony 24 to 70 F2.8 and almost three times less expensive than the Canon 24 to 70 F2.8. So finally, do I recommend this lens? Absolutely. I highly recommend this lens for any videographer who needs an extremely versatile lens for an affordable price. If you don't have a zoom within this focal range yet and you're trying to get the most bang for your buck, I recommend purchasing the Tamron 28 to 70 millimeter f2.8. You can purchase this lens or learn more about it by clicking the link in the description below. This is an affiliate link, so I will receive a small commission if you purchase this lens at no additional cost to you. This helps me to make more product review videos in the future. And if you wanna turn your videography business into a six figure income and full-time career, click the first link in the description below to get a free copy of my book, Film to Freedom, 
where I teach all the strategies and tactics to make it happen. Like this video if you found value in it and subscribe for more videography gear reviews and tutorials in the future. With that, I'll see you in the next one.